Hi there, my name is Rafael Morales, technical trainer for Genetech. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to connect um, and first of all configure a Synergist Cloud Link to connect to an Access Manager. By default, the Synergist Cloud Link has an IP address of 172.16.20.11 with a username of admin and a password software. I will be using a browser to connect to this IP address. I'll be clicking on advance then proceed. Uh, later on this is what we're going to have. We're going to have a uh, the page and uh, the web page for the cloud link where again we're going to be using that admin password the software as your password. Then I'm going to go into the configuration option. Select network and this is where we're going to make all the changes so my cloud link can talk to the access manager. The first tab here, access manager settings, I'm going to be adding the IP address of the Genetech server that is hosting the access manager role. My example is 102. Then we're going to move into the network option tab where I can now assign an IP address to my cloud link. Notice that by default Cloud links will look for a DHCP server. If they don't find a DHCP server, they're going to default back to the original uh, or default IP address of 172.16.20.11. So I'm going to be selecting static IP address and I'm going to be changing this value. Now, the Access Manager will auto discover any um, cloud links as long as they can listen to the discovery port 2000. So notice that my Cloud link does have 2000. When I go to the Access Manager uh, on the uh, Synergies extension, that should be also be 2000. And eventually, I'm going to have a cloud link with an IP address. I'm going to assign dot 11 on my network, and then my Access Manager will be running on a Genetech server that has an IP address of 192.168.0.102. Now notice that I open my browser and I type HTTPS 172.16.20.11. I can actually also use HTTPS forward slash forward slash SCL and the MAC address of my unit. Either both of them uh, could work as well or should work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type admin with a password of software. Okay. And again, how can I connect to this unit? I change the settings of my computer uh, and then assign an IP address to my computer um, other than that .11. So currently I believe I have 172.16.20.10 uh, on my computer and then I'm connecting to .11. I'm going to log in. Again, going to go to Network. And I already have the my server there, but again, um, it's just a matter of adding the IP address of the Genetech server that is hosting your Access Manager that you want to attach this unit the uh, the unit to. Okay, so it's 102. I'm going to save the value. Then I'm going to move into Network Properties, and notice that by default has the IP address of 11. So I'm going to change that to 192.168.0.11 okay. I'm also going to assign a default gateway I'm just using the switch IP address here and for preferred DNS, I don't have a DNS on my network so I'm just going to use the same IP as the unit and notice again I'm going to leave 2000 as the discovery port. So I'm going to save. Okay. Then I'm going to be changing the configuration of my computer once again to actually reflect a different uh, subnet of 182.168. So I can now reconnect to the unit and make sure the values are correct before I go to config tool and add the unit to my access control. 
Well, you can now see that uh, we have uh, the new IP address for the unit. Log in once again. To double check might work. Um, I have uh, 102 again as my accepted access manager and my network properties is the IP address that I'm going to use. Everything looks good. All I got to do now is go to config tool, access manager, and add the unit to the access manager. Back now here under config tool, I'm going to go ahead and select my access control task and then go to roles and units. Notice that I do have a access, um, access manager role which is running on my um, main server. I happen to be running my access manager role on the same um, Genentech main server here. So I'm going to select access manager. Uh, quickly I'm going to go to extensions and show you that we are using discovery port 2000 which is the same value that we had by default on the Synergist Cloud Link. Once I do that, I'm just going to select Access Control Unit. I'm going to click on the plus sign because I want to add a Synergist uh, unit. Okay, so I select Synergist. I do want to add it to my Access Manager. I only have one running on my system. Okay, I'm going to type the IP address of my Synergist Cloud Link. On the example I gave you before, that was 11. And again, um, this server hosting the access manager role is 102. I'm going to type in admin and again software to connect my panel to the server. Click on create. And it takes a few seconds while the system contacts the unit and enrolls the unit. Uh, to my access manager. You see unit created successful. We'll close. And now we see that we have our Synergies Cloud Link added to the access manager. The only reason why we have a yellow um, sign here or a warning is because we're still using the default username and password. So if you go ahead and change um, that password on the unit uh, then you will use that password here to add it to the Access Manager. Thank you very much. I hope uh, this short video is useful. On the next videos, I'm going to be creating now uh, doors using the Access Panels that we added to our Access Manager. Thank you.